Should you take Roy Choi's masterclass? That's what I'm gonna talk about today. Roy Choi, culinary legend in LA, really, Mr. Roy Choi, one with the man and genius behind arguably the most iconic food truck. That's what makes you special, not just the food and the cooking, but the community outreach. There's no one like you. That's why you made Time People of the Year. How you doing? My name is Roy Choi. I go by Poppy here in Los Angeles. So first, who's Roy Choi? And second, what's Masterclass? Roy Choi is a well-known chef who owns multiple restaurants and he's been on multiple shows. One that's been more recent is The Chef Show with John Favreau and multiple other celebrities. Roy Choi is well known for his dynamic style of cooking. He incorporates a lot of fusion into his recipes. One that he's really well known for is the Korean and Mexican taco where he combines galbi and a bunch of other stuff that we're not allowed to say. Masterclass is an online platform that teaches you how to get better at the master's craft. To preface this, I'm not getting paid by anyone and I wish I was. My younger brother Ryan and I began this program and we set out to finish it within a month to see if we can master this masterclass. And we set a certain time frame because you know, if we did set a time frame, then it likely wouldn't get done. So some good things about it are that Chef Roy is a pretty funny guy. I will live with you forever. I like the recipe he uses. I like that because we're trying to learn intuition uh, that's the main subject of the entire class. So we're using all of our five senses in order to cook because we have to see the food, we have to taste the food, we gotta listen to the food as it cooks. And if you're not doing those things, you're not really cooking. And I think that's the main point of this masterclass is that cooking isn't copying and pasting. It's really about looking at and perceiving what is going on with what you're cooking and acting based on that. Acting based on the uh, ingredients that you already have and not needing too much. He tries to not make things complicated, which I appreciate a lot. This is good because I could barely read. So the class overall had a huge impact on the way I cook because I like to copy and paste different methods when it comes to anything. Me being able to cook with my five senses is going to mean that in a lot more scenarios, I'm going to be able to cook without needing a certain recipe. Some cons to the masterclass, this specific one, is that the price that you have to pay for all the food, you're likely gonna spend around $200 when it comes to food. If you cook every single recipe, it's gonna cost some money, but I'd say anything worthwhile will cost time and money, so do what you want with that information. I believe that anyone could take this class. Anyone can cook. But just like learning anything new, it's gonna take some extra time. Don't expect to become a master taking this master class. It helps a lot with being able to cook with a variety of different types of food. It's not a lot of recipes in my opinion, but it's a lot of different types of recipes, a lot of different styles. And so that's another great attribute about this master class is that he wasn't just giving a bunch of recipes that are similar, he's giving a bunch of different recipes they're very different. He gives you sauces, he gives you a lot of information that's pretty valuable. He even gives the Kogi taco recipe, which I'm surprised he did, but I will hold against him that he stopped there and he didn't keep giving more secrets away. My personal favorite was uh, the tuna melt though. Yo, that's the best thing I've made yet. But it's like perfect, especially for like cheap. That's good. That, because of how simple it was. The tuna mount was like pretty easy and it was like probably the best tasting one. Um, my bad. I would rate the class a nine out of 10 because he gave a lot of good information on just how to approach cooking overall. It's like the class is really about almost taking a step back, like looking at your artwork. I called it an egg. I'm not a very good cook. I burn Kool-Aid. What am I really doing here? Am I just in the zone? Am I going tunnel vision? I think it's a good overall view of really learning to cook. I'd say it's a really good first masterclass. Overall, nine out of 10 because he didn't give all the secrets. But I understand, I just want more. Thank you for watching. This is I don't know, it seems like it's bothering you though. That, that I'm saying it's fine. Sure? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm very fine. Because in my opinion, <laughs> Chencho tried the rice. Not yet, hold on. <laughs> it's 
This is my first time. Mm. That's good to Christ. That's just who else. You know who else looking good? My mom. I'm never cooking for my woman. Right, mom? The tri tip's a lot better than the short rib meat. You hear that, Roy Choi? My food's better than yours. Boxing match coming up. We're just gonna do chef's boxing matches. I'm actually gonna beat Bobby Flay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dang, your lips look chopped. <laughs> Dry boy. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna look sus again. <laughs> <laughs> that should be. Guys, don't don't do master class. Roy Choi beats you up. <laughs> <laughs> Rice, beef. Mm. What are you doing? <laughs> Shut up! You left me in charge of them. Stay out of the kitchen now. Right. Don't touch them. Yeah, if I touch him, I'm kissing. Tiny what? What? Oh! <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait! 